Hello and welcome to Right Now for Tuesday the 24th of October 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. Complaints about the government-funded and operated National Broadband Network have increased 160% in the past year. The NBN rollout is now in its 10th year, cost nearly $100 billion. Uh, a complete rollout is still not in sight and NBN Co might never turn a profit. Labor, the architects of the NBN under uh, Kevin Rudd, have blamed the Coalition and Malcolm Turnbull for changing the course of the rollout. However, blame should squarely be aimed at Labor for believing that Big government could roll out super fast internet to the entire nation, which has left Australia with internet speeds slower than Kenya and has stifled private investment and in innovation in internet infrastructure in Australia. Conservative opponents of activist group GetUp, such as Liberal Senator Erica Betts, have succeeded in having the Australian Electoral Commission list GetUp as an associated entity, which would re require it to disclose the funding it receives and how it is spent. This is because of GetUp's uh, left-wing activism, which benefits Labor and the Greens, and has run campaigns against Liberals such as Sophie Marabella. Although I disagree with the political positions of GetUp on issues such as climate change and immigration, I do not think that justifies us on the right using the first force of government to persecute them. This would have an effect on right-wing activist groups such as the Institute of Public Affairs and the Australian Taxpayers Alliance. I think that the influence of GetUp is destructive, but just we on the right need to be uh, as effective as them as they have been with activism. Senate estimates this week has revealed, uh, thanks to Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching, that the Department of Parliamentary Services at Parliament House lost a 1,000-page security manual last November. A private investigator was brought in in February this year to find out what had happened, but turned up nothing. We are told that parliamentary security had not been compromised by the President of the Senate, Stephen Parry. One of the reasons given is because the manual has been updated since last year. It certainly doesn't fill you with confidence that the federal government, who we are told can keep us safe from terrorism and espionage, can't even keep a parliamentary security manual uh, safely secured. The degenerate leftist DJ Astro Lave, who headbutted Tony Abbott on September 21, appeared in Hobart Magistrates Court yesterday, charged with common assault, which carries a maximum penalty of 10 years in jail. Labe still uh, maintains that his headbutt had nothing to do with uh, same-sex marriage, despite wearing a Vote Yes badge at the time, and he did it because he just didn't like Tony Abbott. Regardless of his motive, his violent actions are not the example of just how far the left has regressed and how it feels justified in violently attacking their opponents, it would seem, no matter how, how profile they are. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then. Bye.